woman looking for birth mother uncovers a truth she never imagined. When one British woman embarked on a quest to learn more about her family history, she wasn't sure what she would find. While she wanted more information about her mother, she stumbled upon a dark secret lurking in the past that changed everything she knew about herself. So much of Kathleen's past seemed like a lie. Kathleen Fraser Jackson had built a successful life for herself. On the surface, she always looked cheery. The London-based community worker, however, had memories of a dark childhood lurking behind her smile. Kathleen's mother died when she was only three years old, leaving her alone with her dad. But as if that change wasn't jarring enough to a toddler, her life was rocked again as a teenager. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. When Kathleen was 14, she found some paperwork that her parents never intended her to see. Their contents changed everything she knew about her life up to this point, including her own identity. Kathleen, the documents explained, was adopted as a little girl. The mother who had died a decade ago was a foster mom. Her biological parents, at least in theory, were out there somewhere. Despite the revelation, Kathleen's life continued more or less unchanged until she was 22. Then, tragedy struck again. James, her foster father, died, leaving her alone. From then on, the trail went cold. Kathleen's foster parents were both gone and she had to take care of herself. Working was more important than chasing her genealogy. But after several decades, her situation changed. She started working with Lisa Joyner and Chris Jacobs, hosts of TLC's Long Lost Family. Kathleen submitted a DNA sample and show producers sent it away to analysts, who made a shocking discovery about her ancestry. After years of living without an immediate family, DNA evidence revealed Kathleen's mother had a second daughter with another man. But that wasn't the only surprise they had in store. Incredibly, the show was able to find her half-sister, a woman named Jean Thompson who lived in Edinburgh. Producers helped the two finally meet, and it was a dream come true for the pair. I've always wanted a big sister, and Jean always wanted a little sister, and now we have that, Kathleen said. We are like two peas in a pod. But how could these strangers relate to each other within moments of meeting? The two sisters actually had more in common than they could have imagined. Jean's adopted family also broke down when she was a child. Both sisters worked helping underserved communities, and they both shared one major question. Ever since finding out that they had been adopted, both Kathleen and Jean had wanted to meet their birth mother and get answers, like why she put them up for adoption long-lost family was about to give them their chance. Show producers brought Kathleen and Jean into a room. An older woman entered, their mother, Kathleen Hargreaves. She explained that years before, she became pregnant by two different men on two separate occasions and worried her kids would face a bleak future. The elder Kathleen was afraid that her daughters would be swept away by England's wave of racial tensions. The two girls were mixed-race children born out of wedlock. She believed stable foster families could give the girls better lives than a single white mother could provide. Kathleen and Jean's mother then moved to Canada, settling in Kitchener, Ontario. She got married there and had two children, meaning Kathleen had even more half-siblings. But it was going to be hard, she knew, to connect with people a continent away. Well, despite the years of separation, the family came together quickly, thanks to a WhatsApp group. The daughters even planned to visit North America and spend time with their mom ASAP. But first, she made a discovery closer to home. DNA tests also discovered that Kathleen's biological father had a son named Teddy with a different woman. She simply couldn't believe it. Not only did she have yet another sibling, but he was living nearby the entire time. Of course, she quickly raced out to meet him. Teddy lived in Shepherd's Bush, not far from Kathleen's Wembley home. She even used to frequent her brother's neighborhood to get her hair braided and visit the market. The siblings could have seen each other hundreds of times and never realized it. Teddy also provided a connection to Kathleen's birth father, a Jamaican man named Byron Burton. He introduced his sister to that side of her heritage, giving her even more family members to call her own. After connecting with all the disparate branches of her family tree, Kathleen planned to throw a massive party in Jamaica to celebrate with everyone. She had one problem, however. 
she couldn't find a house big enough to accommodate everyone. After years of living without a family, Kathleen's family has become so big she can't even fit them all in one place. Not a bad problem to have, especially since not all long-lost family reunions end so happily.